Hey everyone, it's Barney here and I got Jimmy with me and we just wrapped up season two of the History Channel series Bermuda Triangle into Cursed Waters, which premieres Tuesday, November 14th at 10 p.m. Uh, we want you to check it out. We've done so much this season. We've had so many different shipwrecks that not all of them made the cut and the ones that didn't make the cut, we still have some awesome stories to share with you guys. Yeah, we had so many wrecks we couldn't fit them in all the 12 episodes and a great case in point is this douglas sky raider we found by accident off miami yeah we were out we were testing a drop camera system one day and we had a couple of targets that we wanted to check out see if they were anything of interest and we put this drop camera in the water it came very apparent real quick that we were looking at an airplane on the bottom of the seafloor yeah i mean that was exciting i mean i think we were both expecting to see like a rock pile or a coral head and we found that aircraft. I mean, that was phenomenal. And then our next step was getting in the water and trying to identify what it was. And we quickly found out it was a Douglas Sky Raider. And it was really interesting how quickly this came together. We found the, the backstory and talked to the family uh, of the pilot that, uh, that crashed off Miami back in 1957. So great story. Check it out right here. We got some great footage for you. All right, great. On January 31st, 1957, a Douglas AD-5 Sky Raider piloted by Richard McCombs took off for a practice run off Miami. On his first strafing run, McCombs experienced a catastrophic engine failure which forced him to ditch off Miami Beach. When we first descended down to the wreck and found an aircraft missing his engine, we found that quite odd. But as we came to learn, the ditching of the Sky Raider actually occurred in fairly shallow water, which allowed U.S. Navy divers to come out and salvage the engine for later analysis. Once that was completed, the aircraft was towed offshore about a week later by the U.S. Coast Guard. In route, the aircraft obviously broke into two pieces as the tail is about a thousand feet south of the main fuselage. The pilot, Richard McCombs, survived the incident. About 30 minutes after the ditching, he was rescued by a helicopter and returned to base. He passed away peacefully in 2022.